most educated people, not even the grassroots that, you know, are perceived as the major culprits in, in, in de degradation and destruction of nature. So you find most of the educated and the elite parts of the, our society today are the ones that are really responsible uh, for most degradation because people will actually come to harvest sand from um, a, 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 a wetland or a river ecosystem. And this harvesting, number one, is cat catastrophic because it it sort of um, you know results in uh, drying up of rivers because this sand is the very one that holds most of the water in our systems. It also is responsible for most of the you know aquatic biodiversity loss because if you take away some of these the sand and the sand materials, you actually are scooping away so much uh, water-based biodiversity. You're killing some of the uh, eggs and some of the you know. Um, uh, offsprings from the marine and uh, from the aquatic other um, organisms yeah. and then there's a um, and obviously Kenya is still grappling with um, the pandemic so COVID is still a crisis right now and actually we just opened our, our movements uh, after um, several rounds of curfews and lockdowns and and this is um, the, the COVID situation has obviously like rendered most people um, homeless because they can't pay they can't pay bills. Most have been uh, retrenched from work because companies can't sustain them. Uh, and even there have been some, you know, domestic violence that have been recorded because, uh, you know, people are together. They're frustrated. They can't um, communicate well, and then they end up fighting some are uh, uh, deadly. Uh, we've had casualties. And so these are all things happening. And the mother of all of them, climate change, it, it's as much a reality in Kenya as it is in other parts of the world. Uh, and the point is um, we still try to create awareness and find ways on how we can engage one another. What COVID has done is actually it's, it's helped us understand that actually uh, the grassroots and the peasants are really responsible to and the responsible custodians of our natural system. So we only need to engage with them so that we can enhance and learn from them on how we can better deal with nature and protect it. Uh, on the other side, um, I think the government has also uh, opened up um, and it, like lowered some of the fees, entry fees to our parks and our green spaces, which I think is a good thing. So then, um, with the realization that actually we need nature more, they've been able to wake up a bit and allow citizens easy access to some of these parks. So I think I think my whole thing is a world where we're at peace with one another, there are no crises anymore, and, and people are more kind, more generous, more loving, and, you know, like putting nature at the center of development and at the center of every kind of um, engagements we are deliberating upon.